help. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
If you would give me a minute, please. What can I do for you? How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. Oh. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. 
Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Gentlemen, follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. Do you think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. They've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? Might want to take a look at this. So who are these bounty hunters? 
I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife... Doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. Very Let's so go terrible, now. Sir. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... If I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! <laughs> okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, you need to know those boots you got there, eh? Mm. Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Oh. Focus, okay.
Let's get Sean and get out of here. Are you going to get me down from here? Hurry up, fellas. Arthur. <laughs> uh. 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 You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh. Get a hug, Arthur. A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> well, I imagine y'all missed me a lot. <sighs> but fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. Hey there. You move a damn hair, I'll let you up. You go one more step and it's your last. Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah. 